Welcome to my first video. This is Cold Lake, come along with me as I drive the length of the city. We will go past the marina, the beach and highlight some spots as we go. So sit back and enjoy the ride. The city is situated in Alberta's Lakeland District, 300 kilometers northeast of Edmonton, near the Alberta-Saskatchewan provincial border. The city was first recorded on a 1790 map, by the name of Coldwater Lake. The city population according to the 2021 federal census was 16,302. The city is divided in two and simply referred to as Cold Lake North and South. As you arrive on the edge of the city you are welcomed by many local and big-name businesses. Rona, Home Hardware, Ramada, Best Western, Holiday Inn, Walmart, Tim Hortons, and McDonald's just to name a few. The city has numerous restaurants and fast food outlets like, Original Joe's, O2's, Panago's, Domino's, KFC, A&W, Subway and much much more. Cold Lake Fire Rescue is the new brown building coming up on the right. They serve not only the city but a large portion of the MD of Bonneville, Cold Lake First Nations, Elizabeth Settlement and a portion of the rural municipality of Beaver River, Saskatchewan, for a total area of 2,500 square kilometers. I would love to hear from you in the comments on any suggestions of things you would like me to cover in future videos. From the new hangars being built on the base to the possible carbon capture plant, there are many new people seeking info about the city and area. I will be trying to cover as much as I can in future videos. As you have heard many times before, hit that like, and subscribe to be notified of all upcoming videos. Hope you will come for the ride as I learn and grow my page. Coming up is the Cold Lake Mall. It boasts a Sobeys, Staples, Canadian Tire, Winners, a drugstore with a postal outlet and many more small and medium mixed businesses. On the right is the bus transfer point, where you would switch buses to go to Cold Lake North or South depending on what direction you're coming from. In 2022 Cold Lake Transit had just over 135,400 rides. On the right, almost halfway between Cold Lake South and North, is the Cold Lake Energy Center. This houses the Cold Lake High School, Portage College, Arena, Climbing Wall, Outdoor Fields, and so much more. It is pretty much the main hub for activities in the city. Future plans might include a swimming pool.
There are large wooded areas through the city, with many parks and trails that can be taken from north to south. There is a small paved trail that goes the length of the city called the Millennium Trail, popular with walkers, runners, and bikers. As you come into the north over a slight hill, you can see the lake from a distance. Though not as busy, the north has been growing in the past few years, with restaurants, pubs, and a mini mall, all within a few blocks of the marina. As you come to the lake, you can see the marina and boardwalk. The road follows the lake around to the beach. Future plans are building a break wall that will have a path so that you can walk from the marina all the way around to the beach. At a price tag of over 30 million this will be a huge undertaking, but one stone will look amazing. The lake is a hot spot for fishing and hosts a large fishing derby with people coming from all over, not just the province but Canada and the United States. The lake hosts many types of fish including walleye, sorghum, yellow perch, northern pike, lake trout, lake whitefish, cisco, burbot, white sucker, and long-nose sucker. Both Alberta and Saskatchewan angling licenses are valid on the entire lake. Cold Lake is one of the deepest lakes in Alberta, with a maximum depth of 656 feet. It has a water area of 373 square kilometers. The lake has a native legend of a large lake monster called Kinnisu, of which many residents claimed to see sightings of. Sonar scans of certain areas of the lake have shown depths of over 200 meters, 660 feet, and evidence of glacial ice under the lake, which could actually make it deeper. The beach had a huge makeover in the past years, with more beach being made available, a zip line, water park, and play area. Many events are held here on the beach like Canada Day and the ever-popular Aqua Days. The Fishing Booker blog has listed Cold Lake as one of the top fishing destinations in Canada for 2023. The size, climate, and types of fish make this lake a huge attraction, where the summer of winter fishing. As we pass the beach and MD of Bonneville Campground, this brings my first video to an end. I hope you enjoyed the ride through Cold Lake and continue to follow as I will be exploring restaurants, museum, parks, local businesses, events. So join me for the ride. Remember to like, follow and subscribe and join me on this local travel adventure. Stay tuned for my next video, which will be a quick tour of Four Wing Cold Lake. Thanks.